Amsam was walking home one evening when he noticed something unusual in the sky. The moon looked enormous, brighter than ever, glowing like a golden lantern. Amazed, he wondered, what is a supermoon? <laughs> Determined to find out, he set off into space. He reached Earth's orbit and floated between Earth and the moon. From huh? this view, he saw that the moon was much closer to Earth than usual. Huh? That was the reason it looked so large from the ground. But why? Aum Sum wondered. He watched huh? carefully as the moon moved around Earth. Its path was not a perfect circle, but slightly oval, called an ellipse. This meant that sometimes the moon was closer to Earth and sometimes farther away. The closest point was called perigee, and the farthest point was called apogee. As the moon continued its journey, Aumsum huh? noticed the sun shining brightly on one side of the Earth. When the moon came closest to Earth, at perigee, and stood on the opposite side from the sun, sunlight fell directly on its face. The entire side facing Earth glowed brightly. That was a full moon. And when a full moon happened at perigee, it appeared much bigger and brighter than usual. That special event was called a supermoon. Aumsum was watching a news clip of firemen rescuing people from a burning building. Something caught his eye. Instead of walking, the firemen were crawling on their hands and knees through the smoke-filled rooms. Aumsum wondered, why do firemen crawl in smoke-filled rooms? <laughs> his curiosity sparked. Aumsum blinked and magically found himself inside a smoky room. Flames flickered at the edges and thick gray clouds filled the air. At first, he tried to stand, but immediately his eyes stung and his chest burned as he coughed. The smoke pressed around him like a heavy blanket, making it nearly impossible to breathe. Struggling, Aum Sum crouched lower. To his surprise, the air near the floor felt cooler and clearer. He could breathe a little easier. Curious, he explored deeper, crawling on hands and knees. Huh? That's when Aum Sum noticed something important. The fire at the far end of the room was heating the air. Hot air always rises because it becomes lighter than the cooler air around it. The rising air carried smoke, ash, and poisonous gases upward toward the ceiling. Closer to the ground, the air stayed cooler and heavier. This heavier air didn't rise, so it held more oxygen and much less smoke. Hence, staying near the floor gave him a better chance to breathe fresh air as well as see clearly. Amsum was playing in a swimming pool when he noticed huh? something unusual. On land, carrying a bucket of water felt heavy, huh? but when he stepped into the pool, the same bucket felt much lighter. Surprised, Amsum wondered, why do we weigh less in water? Curious, Amsum took a deep breath and dived into the ocean. To test his idea, he picked up a rock from the ocean floor. On land, the rock would have been almost impossible to carry, but underwater, he could lift it with ease. But when Amsum tried to push the rock down, the water pushed it back up. Even his own body felt lighter, almost as if the ocean was holding him in its arms. No matter how much he tried to sink, the water kept lifting him toward the surface. Then, Amsum realized what was happening. Water was creating an upward force opposite to his weight. This upward force was buoyancy. It acted on everything placed in water, whether a rock, a bucket, or even his own body. Amsum thought about ships floating on the ocean. Even though they were enormous and heavy, the water pushed up on them with enough force to keep them from sinking. He now had the answer to his puzzle. <laughs> Amsum was walking on a chilly morning when a sudden breeze brushed across his arms. Tiny bumps rose on his skin, and the hair stood upright. 
Surprised, he wondered, why do we get goosebumps? Determined to find out, Amsam shrank and entered his own body. He landed just beneath the skin, among rows of tiny hair follicles. The brain had sensed the cold and commanded the skin to react. Huh? Immediately, small muscles at the base of each hair follicle, called erector pili muscles, started pulling hard, tugging the hairs upright like soldiers standing at attention. The skin around <laughs> each follicle rose into a little bump, creating the familiar goosebump pattern. Basically, when the hairs stood up, they trapped a thin layer of air close to the skin. That layer acted like insulation, helping to keep warmth inside. The goosebumps rose again, this time huh? not due to cold, but triggered by the brain due to sudden fear or strong emotions. The bumps appeared as part of the fight-or-flight <laughs> response, a survival reflex from long ago. In animals, raised fur made them look bigger and more threatening to predators. In humans, the bumps remained, even though the fur was mostly gone. <laughs> the mystery was solved.